Hey YouTube, how you doing? My name's Charlotte and welcome to my art studio. For this week's episode, I'm going to take you through some of my current whips. For those of you who don't know that, find out in a minute. Um, and also tell you about some of my events that are coming up uh, very, very soon at the end of August and in September. Don't worry, whips doesn't sound for anything dangerous. Whips are works in progress. So these are the works that, you know, I need to get done. The ones that some of them have been hanging around for a while and you'll recognize them from my previous whips video. The little unknown thing sometimes though is that I am also a crocheter and a cross stitcher. So if you wanna see my crochet and cross stitch whips, give this a comment um, and I can do a separate video because I have much more uh, works in progress to do with that than I have to do with art. With my artwork, a lot of it sits up here in my little noggin. I say little, it's, yeah. Um, however, a lot of it also sits in pages. So, I have certain ones that I want to get done before events in um, August and September. So at the end of August, I am participating in the Swindon Paint Fest. So this is uh, like the Gloucestershire ones. I think it's Gloucestershire. There's definitely one in Bristol. Um, these This Paint Fest is where we try to brighten up uh, the streets of Swindon and bring some artwork in. So I'm going to be up in Old Town. I'm also going to have a little exhibition up there. And hopefully uh, a couple of these pieces can be done before then. Um, if not, they will be done before the end of September where I will be at Swindon Open Studios. So I'll be down the road from the train station um, and I'll be there alongside several other artists um, to showcase my work in a slightly different environment. Um, I personally cannot open my studios for the weekend. However, for the last two weekends, you can come and meet me, see my artwork in person. So that's near the Swindon train station. But ultimately, um, give me a follow on Instagram, Charlotte Abraham Art, same on Facebook, um, or even head to my website in my bio and sign up to my newsletter. Because if you sign up to my newsletter between now and the end of September, you'll be in with a chance of winning one of my prints. So if you want to see what prints I have to see if you want to sign up, you should. There'll be more added but head to my unboxing video um, a couple of months back. But time for the whips. So the hand series I've had around for a little while now. However, I have started on the red hand. I think this is quite powerful, quite impressive, but you can see that there's not much done. So this is whip number one, the red hand. Um, I did actually, so if you did watch the video previously, I have finished the yellow one. I find it quite cool that it's gone to almost greens. I, I like the punchiness of it, um, not only of the hand, but also um, of the yellow there. So that one's yet to be um, varnished, and obviously this one's yet to be finished. I'm not sure what background I'm going to go, whether I'm going to go soft or whether I'm going to go dark. Um, but I think it's probably going to be a softer red, um, so just lighter than this middle colour. Whip number one. Oh, whip number two. Uh, this is one supposed to be blue. Yeah, nothing happened with that. That's a proper whip. And then the fourth in the series, because there's only three primary colours, um, I've gone to grayscale. So I did think about doing the secondary colours. Um, however, they do kind of appear like the green. Yeah. So I thought going grayscale. I did a lighter background. Um, I don't like it. I want to switch back to the darker one. It's almost there, uh, but the paint needs a few more layers to really get it to pop through. Um, 
there's a little bit missing here um, and in here as well so I just need to figure out those two colours and ultimately get on with it so it's, it, this one's further than the red way further than the blue if you do follow me on Instagram you'll see that I've done some round pieces recently and I hope I get like a little ooh round pieces um, that's what I envision in my head at least but um, my first round piece I think was an ultimate success um, I really enjoyed it and believe it or not it used the paints from Swindon Paint Fest last year so I'm being eco with my paints it is that way and I created this little number so I've called it bloom gorgeous purples I have to I have to say but again it's using that minimal palette just those greens that single green on the outside um, I think it was about four or five different purples so I've really minimized um, my color mixing in it but I thought about doing some predominantly green ones so these two you've got your leaves and also the start of a succulent so the green's a little bit harder to work with a yellow base paint is thinner um, so you'd have to do a lot more layers um, and I'm also playing around with sort of where I want each um, of the colours so you can see there there's quite a lot to do as well as this one this one is a lot easier for me personally because I kind of know where I'm going with it whereas this one is a more trial and error piece so hopefully we'll have a set of three um for swindon open studio so i'm aiming for the end of september with these um and they are one-offs i don't know if i'll do a full collection um but i have really enjoyed it so you never know in terms of sketchbook work there's always something to do um actually drawing i still have if you joined me last time um, I won't roll it all out, um, but this is the beginning of a hand. <laughs> I want to try and use a paper. It's still at this point. I haven't done anything with it. To be honest, the weather in the UK has been super hot recently, so I haven't been wanting to draw. Um, it's just a little bit too sticky for that. It's, yeah, no. Nah. So that is still on the whips list um, alongside another portrait I started and I've actually been in contact with the photographer who took the piece um, or photographed the piece and um, yeah we had a good natter and I was like yeah I'm really sorry <laughs> um, but he completely understands but I really 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 hope that I have time um, and the energy and less heat uh, to do it before Christmas as I think that will be a wonderful surprise for him um, as well but as I said with my sketchbook which is actually handily right here um, I started adding more background so I've got a load of book pages in there at the moment um, and I mean a whole load of book pages oh that's the last page um but flicking back this way I've done them all different ways and I've also added some general sketches as well so trying out my different techniques different lines I am um when it gets maybe half full I do want to do a sketchbook tour of this so keep an eye out for this um also apologies I'm using my front camera so I can see if I'm in frames that's probably backwards for you all <laughs> um but in terms of whips to be honest there aren't as many um as there were last time because I had a couple of crochet um commissions as well however um there is a long long list like a three page list of things to do um, before the end of September of getting my artwork ready, finishing artwork, varnishing, framing, um, if they need to be framed, um, adding sort of any hang pieces. It's, it's, dare I say full-time work? <laughs> it is a dream of mine to be a full-time artist, but doesn't quite pay the bills at the moment. Um, but I hope to get there. 
as I say, um, the re list has reduced this month, um, very luckily so. So a little bit of real time for a minute. Although the list has reduced um, in terms of whips and, you know, I've got my list to do before the end of September. Um, I also have a lot of ideas up in here um, and it is my dream to make them come true. Uh, that includes um, getting done some or like exploring uh, realistic artwork for the like, portraiture and anything to do with the human body, um, as well as anatomy um, items as well, because I love drawing anatomy and I had a collection of work that was um, black and white drawings of anatomy um, on book, book pages, essentially. And that is what I'm going to get as prints. So not only do would I have by the end of September, uh, the prints that are of my big bold work, but I also have prints of some of my finer detail work. And to be honest, if there's something that you like, if there's something that you've seen in one of my sketchbooks that I've shown you all, please let me know as I would love to get my artwork a little bit more out there um, and, you know, get some painting selling. So it means that you get a piece that you love um, and I get to give you something that I've created, which is one of the ultimate goals. So I thank you for supporting me via watching my YouTube um, and watching my new shorts that I've started to release as well of little snippets of my day. Um, and I hope to see you back next week.